I remember every couple years at our temples there was news that Prabhupada had a heart attack. Prabhupada was in critical condition. We were all having 24-hour kirtan. This would happen every couple years for the entire decade that Prabhupada was preaching. And when he was here in Bombay, in a condition, according to the medical doctors, he was on his deathbed. He couldn't walk. He couldn't eat. But when there was a great preaching opportunity to give opposition to the illusory energy, without consideration of his own life, he said, take me to London. And absolutely everybody around was thinking, this is absolutely crazy. He will not live through this. But he went to London to preach, to encourage his disciples. He had to be carried. Can you understand how much painful physically that must have been in that condition where he couldn't even move to take these jet airplanes across continents is horribly uncomfortable for a young person in full health. What to speak of someone in that condition? They had to carry him to the bathroom and the disciples would be crying, thinking, my God, how much pain he must be enduring just to move this direction. So he was not considering life or death, he was only considering the service to render. Similarly, Jatayu, he had every excuse not to fight this war. He was not fit, he was too old. Death was inevitable for him to challenge Ravana. He was single-handedly facing the Asura that was practically conquering the entire universe. Therefore, yes, Ram could have given him the strength to kill Ravana, but that was not the plan of the Lord. The plan of the Lord is that he wanted Ravana to take Sita to Sri Lanka for so many reasons we'll never understand. One is, if he did not, the great devotee Hanuman would have never been able to do the wonderful service that he rendered. Sita would not be glorified by exhibiting her quality of supreme chastity. Ram would not have performed the wonderful Leela of personally killing Ravana and all of the Rakshasha army. And most of all, Jatayu would not have been given the most glorious opportunity to lay down his life and show all the world for all the time to come that a devotee is willing and ready to die in the service of his Lord. But what was his death? We all have to die someday. When Srila Prabhupada was told by the devotees here in Bombay, you cannot go to London, Prabhupada, you will die. Prabhupada said, better to die in the battlefield with the name of Krishna on my lips than to be laying here like an old man. Huh? Jatayu was in that mood. Better to die on the battlefield with the name of Ram on my lips than to just lay here and die like an old man. And therefore, Lord Ramchandra weeped 
seeing the love and the sacrifice and the courage of his devotee. And Lord Ramchandra personally performed the funeral ceremony and directly sent Jatayu back to Vaikuntha to live an eternal life full of bliss and knowledge in the loving service of the Lord. So when Krishna says that my devotee will never perish, this is what he means. He is not saying that his body will not be overcome. He is not saying that the demons may not even kill him. He is saying that his faith, his devotion, will never be disturbed under any condition. And in the end, he will go back home, back to Godhead. The protection Krishna is speaking of is the protection of the soul. Jatayu was sent back to Vaikuntha. That is how Lord Ram protected him. Sometimes the demons are more powerful than the devotees in a physical way. At the time of Hiranyakashipu, they were destroying the, the sacrifices of all the Brahmins and killing them and drinking their blood. And these are the Brahmins of Satya Yuga. They were obviously great devotees of the Lord. They were being massacred and killed by Hiranyakashipu. But if they were thinking of Narayan at the time of death, they all went back to Vaikuntha. Jatayu was nothing less than such a pure devotee that the Lord himself wept upon his disappearance. The Lord himself personally with his own hands performed this funeral ceremony. How dear he was to the Lord. And yet, it is true, he was killed by the demons. He was overcome by the demons. But was he conquered? No. If Ravana could have created fear in his heart, if Ravana could have disturbed his faith, then he would have been conquered. But his devotion and his enthusiasm for the service of the Lord, for the mission of the Lord, could not be disturbed even by the mighty sword and the ten arms of Ravan. Therefore, he was not conquered. His faith, his devotion, and his enthusiasm to serve could not be conquered even in the face of death by the greatest Rakshasha of the universe. Therefore, Jatayu was victorious. He was victorious because he did not give up the name and the service of the Lord. He was victorious because he attained the supreme destination of life, Vaikuntha, the supreme victory. Yes, Ram protected him. There is no doubt. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.